In the salt marsh, acres of green marsh grasses wave in the wind. This is no ordinary grass. The salt marsh cordgrass, Spartina alterniflora, is remarkable because it can survive in very salty water. It can thrive where most other plants would die. Spartina is able to pull nearly fresh water from the salty marsh water through its roots. Excess salt that does enter the roots is extruded through special salt secreting glands on the shoots. Spartina is one of the most energy productive plants in the world. Its ability to withstand salt water allows it to thrive in marshes and tidal flats where there is little competition from other plants. It makes good use of abundant energy from the sun, plus the nutrients and minerals washed into the estuary from rivers and streams. Plants, everything from tall Spartina to microscopic algae, form the base of a complex web of life in the estuary. Plants are called producers because they can directly use the energy from the sun to make food through a process called photosynthesis. It may be hard to believe, but a square meter area of tidal marsh along the North Carolina coast actually produces more living material than the same area of an Iowa cornfield, a Kansas wheat field, or even the bountiful oceans. Consumers are animals who eat plants, or eat other animals who eat plants, or both. They range in size from microscopic to large fish, birds, or mammals. When animals and plants eventually die, they may appear to be rotting away, but they are actually becoming the energy source, the food for decomposers. These decomposers, mostly bacteria, protozoa, and fungi, then become food for other consumers. These bacteria, protozoa, and fungi, together with the decomposing matter they feast on, form sort of an organic mush we call detritus. Eventually, once living matter left over from this process will be broken down by the sun and water into minerals and nutrients that will help sustain the plants, which started the cycle to begin with. So in very short order, the whole thing begins all over again. 